Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nugent. We're going to call today's episode, Ted, the Ted Nugent, I told you so episode, because how many times, Ted, have you talked about the Hunter Biden laptop and its authenticity yet? Only today, CBS News has come out and said, oh, wait a minute, it's authentic. And we've gone back and we've had people do a forensic analysis, and it truly is Hunter Biden's laptop. And all of these claims from John Brennan, former CIA head, James Clapper, former CIA head, all of the mainstream media outlets out there that said it was Russia disinformation. Oh, wait a minute. Years later, after they impacted a presidential election and probably a midterm, we admit it was all accurate. So, uh, Ted, would you like to uh, give a big I told you so to our viewers and what's your take uh, and what's going on with the Hunter, Hunter Biden laptop? Well, Keith, number one, a happy Thanksgiving to everybody. The Nugent family celebrates Thanksgiving every day. Never lose track that the whole world sucks. America is catching up in the sucking category, but the Nugent family and all the great families that I know, Keith, you and Tim and Josh, all my band and crew, all my, all my family, all my hunting buddies, we improvise, adapt and overcome so we can still be thankful because there's a hint of freedom in America. But what you're alluding to is the story of my, I told you so life. I've had people come out of the woodwork in the entertainment industry for years now, have come out and kind of coyly and shyly and hesitatingly kicked the dirt and furled their brow and winced and and squinted and went, yeah, Ted, I, I see what you mean, where they've enacted the gun control laws where I was brainwashed into believing that less guns would reduce crime. Yeah, I see where what you told Pierce Morgan that the Democrats and the freedom haters already have their dream and it's called gun free zones. And that's where the most innocent lives are lost. So I'm I have been going on a I told you so holy war for the last 50 years. Heath, if I may, if you would indulge me as we celebrate Thanksgiving, you know that I have a spiritual blood brother relationship with the heroes of the military. Always have. When they came back from Vietnam, they contacted me because I promoted the Second Amendment that their buddies died for. I got another call from another family because it's happened many times. Whose son sent them a picture holding a 44 Magnum cocked to his head, threatening suicide. The photo, they had a photo. Well, they reached out to the man that they know that I was unafraid and gives thanks for freedom. And I called on the, 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 the armor of God and the power of Michael the Archangel. And I had this guy not only abandoning his goal of suicide, but I had him laugh him. I had him laughing and, and looking forward to a campfire and giving thanks even in these treacherous times. So if a hero who has been in the belly of the beast can find positive somehow, even if it's with a goofy guitar player, I want to thank everybody for supporting the nightly nudge because your truth, logic, and common sense fortified me to confront this hero who had given up all hope. There is hope. Hope burns eternal. Never give up on that. Even though we know our government is the enemy of America and mankind. Boy, that is an incredible Thanksgiving story, uh, Ted. One other thing before I let you go. So if the laptop is true, and in addition to all the behavior that Hunter Biden was doing in the laptop, what's your take on the line 10% for the big guy? Again, Keith, I know you're rhetorically probing these points because our job as Americans is to be suspicious of all authority. My job, I knew it instinctively as a teenager to be a critical thinker. Think critically. Suspicion of authority is job one for America. Everybody knows that the Hunter Biden laptop was real, that Hunter Biden is a direct result of the toxic failure of parenting 
by his father, Joe Biden. And so everybody watching Nightly News right now should communicate with their, again, I'm going to say it, their mayor, their senator, their congressman, their governor, their chief of police, their state trooper commander, their sheriff, your alderman. Let everybody you know that works for us, that we know the Hunter Biden laptop was real and it was intentionally covered up to keep the greatest president ever, Donald J. Trump, from once again making and keeping America great. It's so simple, it's stupid. Well, tomorrow, Ted, I want to talk to you uh, as we lead into Thanksgiving about the military and the Pentagon and what they're doing with regard to CRT and gender identity. It's if I was an emoji, I'd be the emoji with the tear coming down my face. But uh, we'll talk about all that tomorrow, Ted, right here on the Nightly Nuge, where there is no fake news. Mm-hmm.